think everyone can finally say that we've been waiting for this day for the longest. Especially me, shit. I've been dying. And I mean, I've been dying. I've been so thirsty for some Halo news. And we finally got some. Not even some. We've gotten a lot today. So, Microsoft went ahead and said that the next Halo 5 will not just be called Halo 5. It will be called Halo 5 Guardians. Holy crap. And I was uh, at first, you know, people were like butthurt about this, you know. Oh, why would they call it Halo 5 Guardians? And I don't really know. But uh, apparently in the, um, in the extended universe and the comic books and stuff like that, uh, apparently there is a reason why the name of the game is going to be called Halo 5 Guardians. I don't care as we got, we got the title of it released, we've gotten the cover art released, and uh, as you guys can see there, uh, it looks absolutely sick. I'm wondering who that person is because obviously that's not Master Chief right there, so it has to be somebody. And uh, the developers, one of the developers came out and said that it isn't Cortana because it looks like a female body. But uh, maybe the armor just makes it look that way. It's definitely not Cortana, they said. And it's not Sarah Palmer. And if you guys read into the extended universe, Sarah Palmer goes ahead and at the UNSC's request, she goes ahead and she tries to hunt down Master Chief. But then ends up becoming like the, mas the guardian, the master of humanity, something like that along those lines. So it's definitely not her either because a developer came out and said that it isn't her. So who the hell is this person? Is it like could it be Master Chief in brand new armor? I doubt that, but I mean it definitely could be. If, and if it is, I mean, I don't think it would be because it would just be too big of a drastic change. I think a lot of people would be like, whoa, I mean this isn't Master Chief. It's definitely not Master Chief. But then again, you know, 343 wants this game to be their game and trying to break away from that whole Bungie mold. I think that's what Halo 4 was definitely for to try to make that transition into this being 343's game and not Bungie's game anymore. But um, we did, we definitely got some great news. We definitely needed this. I've been dying for this. And I'm really, this is just all just uh, pumping everybody for E3. And I'm excited as hell. It definitely did that. I'm excited as hell for E3 and to watch Microsoft's press conference because they're going to show Halo 5 gameplay. Now, Halo 5 will be released in the fall of 2015, so that just destroys all the rumors that's saying that it was going to be released this year. And that was way too soon anyway. anyways. And last year, um, during the E3 press conference, you kind of got the hint that Halo 5 was not coming out in 2014. It was just impossible. I mean, basically, Halo 4 came out at the end of 2012. And with all the DLC that came out, it was like mid-2013, maybe like the beginning of 2013. And uh, then they were started developing full force on Halo 5. So, I mean, that would be way too soon for them to go ahead and say that Halo 5 was going to be releasing in 2014. So, I'm glad. And, of course, the end of the trailer, uh, as shown above, it says your Halo journey begins on Xbox One 2014. So, we already know Halo 2 anniversary is basically almost confirmed now. Halo 2 Anniversary will be coming out this year. Holy crap, and I'm excited as hell for that. And they've been, 343 has been teasing it for a while now. They showed some brand new Hasbro uh, action figures of uh, Master Chief back in his old Halo 2 armor with the dual SMGs. So you already, they're already teasing the fact that Halo 2 Anniversary is definitely going to come. So I'm excited as hell for that. That's going to be definitely, I'm picking that up. Halo 2 multiplayer was the best. Hopefully they don't, they don't change it. And they make it like Halo 4's multiplayer because I hated Halo 4's multiplayer. I just absolutely despise Halo 4's multiplayer. But nonetheless, I am excited as hell. I'm still wondering who this person is. What do you guys think? Who do you think this person is? It's not Cortana and it's not Sarah Palmer. Who could it be? Could it be this brand new companion that Master Chief is going to get? Who the hell knows? I'm still waiting to see the Arbiter. Please bring back the Arbiter, please. And uh, before I go, I just want to show you the concept art that the developers posted up today. This just came out, I think, like a few hours ago, probably when this is getting posted up. So um, there's the concept art. Uh, there's already people saying that this is the, the Elite's homeworld of Sangelios. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, because there's a statue in the background. with It looks like an Elite with an energy sword. And in the back, there's two moons. And apparently, you know, that's how uh, Sangelios is like. Who knows, that'd be cool if the Arbiter made an appearance. We definitely need him back. Uh, he's definitely the Master Chief companion. So, who knows, what do you guys think? Who do you guys think this character is on the front, on the, uh, what is this, the cover art of? 
the newly announced Halo 5 Guardians. Who do you think this person is? Let me guys know in the comment section down below. I will be reading every single one of these comments because you know what? Hey, the more minds we got on this, the more minds thinking, hey, maybe we could just figure it out. You never know. So let me guys know what you guys think about this. Remember to smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, favorite, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Peace. Peter, sir, I think we lost him.